I'm Alex, and today we're making a DIY Unicorn Tears lipstick. If you guys have not been able to get your hands on the original of this, this DIY nails it. There's no doubt in my mind that this is nearly identical. So let's get right to it. The first thing you need for this DIY is a lip balm. So take your chapstick and put all of the contents into a microwavable bowl. I'm gonna recommend that you don't use a lip balm from a tin. The ones in the tins are just softer and in my opinion made my final product turn out just, you know, obviously a little too soft. So opt for a plain, clear, twist up chapstick. Now you could go a few ways with the next ingredient. The original of this lipstick is a blue color. I used a bit of blue eyeshadow here. I wanted control over how blue it was gonna be, what color blue it was gonna be. I didn't just wanna to go to the store and buy a lipstick, but honestly, that's what I would suggest you guys do. I started by just putting a dash of blue eyeshadow into my container, and the same would go for a lipstick. Just put a tiny little sliver in at this point. Next, if you guys have ever watched any of my videos, you've probably seen this before, and it is mica powder. I use this all the time. If you are trying to directly recreate the original, you do need to get the blue iridescent powder. I'd say I started with a full teaspoon in here and I did wind up adding more. Now take this mixture over to your microwave. Microwave it in 30 second increments until it's completely melted. The ingredients will be kind of separated when you pull it out of the microwave, so you'll have to really stir them up. I let this cool for a minute and then I tested it on the back of my hand to see if I had enough blue in it, enough mica powder, and it turns out that I didn't. So I added a dash more of the blue and a whole other teaspoon of mica powder. If you're using lipstick, just slice off another small sliver. You might want it to be a deeper color or you might want it to be even more iridescent. Have at it, I'd just say test along the way on the back of your hand. Now I wanted to show you two different ways of doing this. One in a twist up container like this and the other in a little pot of lip balm. Personally, I prefer the twist up because I don't really wanna be dipping into here and getting my fingers all blue, but if you do it this way, it's totally fine. I would just recommend a little lipstick brush. Your mixture has probably started to solidify a little bit, so before you're gonna pour this, you're gonna to have to put it back into the microwave for another 20 to 30 seconds. Now, once your mixture is completely melted again, give it another stir before you pour it. You'll have to wait about a half hour to 45 minutes for this to completely solidify, and then there you go. You have an almost exact DIY dupe for unicorn tears. It's it's pretty good if I do say so myself. If you guys have any suggestions for future DIYs you wanna see, I'm the girl for the job. You can leave your request down below. And if I can figure out a way to do it, I will do it. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love to have you. If you want more information or anything, you can go to my website. It is the first link right down below. You can find this whole DIY recipe written out. I hope you guys are having a really great week and I will see you next time. Bye.